Hey guys, hey guys, my name is Sujaisi, who has a lot of more, and you are welcome, mm -mm, not to my YouTube channel, you are welcome to Steven Iguez's YouTube channel. It's always an exciting time when I get to future in my father's channel, even though sometimes we are the ones that force ourselves to say, we'll see our face, people will see our face, yeah, so here we are, it, oh, here I am, I thought, I thought it was we, you know, here I am in um pastor steven iguez's youtube channel and trust me each time i come over my father's channel there is always one or two things to learn my father doesn't just put out something that you that he wouldn't pass out a message he would always look for every way to pass out a message and i just want to say thank you so much for your consistency yeah i know it's my father's channel but i'm also i, I also get to thank him thank you so much daddy for your consistency thank you so much for every time you get to come out you always have a word not just for the people of your age but mostly for we the youth and we don't just take it for granted we just want to say thank you thank you for being amazing thank you for being a um a youth pastor you know it's this is our this is our youth generation the gen z generation man we need strong hand and then thank you for always correcting us in love if there's one thing i learned from my father is um about parenting is you don't just correct a child without the, without the child knowing what he or she did but he would always tell you see hey see this thing you did you actually you actually know what you did so he would always correct us in love and then he would always tell us that this is why i'm doing this if my father's word hits me but leave but the reason why i'm doing anything i'm doing is for your own good and when you when you grow up tomorrow you will appreciate how far or what i've done so far in your life and, and i just, just want to say thank you so much daddy and for being amazing but wait yeah in today's youtube um let's say program um i just want to talk about something and also want to say a big thank you to my dad and, and so to my mom for the prep you know nothing prepares you for motherhood nothing prepares you for that no matter how much people might want to um, prep you or no matter how much you might want to get advice or read my father's what my father would, would, would say until you are experiencing that at the moment you don't have anything to say yet so i just want to say thank you to my parents and also to my, to my parents for the prep i remember uh, one of the, the 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 period i was kind of very tired so tired that my mom said mom says some mommy said nobody will do it for you will do it for yourself and i she wishes that somebody does it for you but you are the one that will do it yourself and then my father said something my father said if someone would have done it he he, he would have actually pass through the stage but hey you are the one that would do it yourself and i looked at him one day and then i told him i said and sleepless night if you look at my eyes very well i almost wanted to wear glasses but i said no i'm not gonna wear glasses uh, I don't, I'm, just, I'm just going to come out and then for you guys to see me just as i am you know um the sleepless nights i remember i wonder i called my dad and i told my dad man this this ain't easy this ain't easy because at that time you want to sleep the baby the baby wants wants to be awake i remember i remember there was one night i was begging Ire. i told him Ire, sleep i beg you sleep if i uh, my husband and i we have been doing let's say night shift i thought my mother was like yes that's a beauty that's a joy Oh, did I forget to mention my father's name for Ire? You know, his name is Ire Telemi Motayo Ono Onyagoziri. My father's name um, for him is Ozoma, which means good road. So um, it's been a journey. In fact, just, my father will say, you, you can just start it. It's been a journey. This is, um, I would call this the joys of motherhood. And um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to all the parents out there who are always in the picture of their children's um, oh, picture, picture in every step or in every stage of their children's life. 
and um, sometimes I look at my dad and then I tell him that you're just an exceptional father because you're not just in every sense. But sometimes I see my father goes ahead of us. You know, he goes and then he's at us that this is what to watch, this is what this, this is what to, this is what to do. So I want to say a very big thank you to him and then very big thank you for the prayers. I remember the time I was going to the hospital with the pain and everything. So my father was actually on the phone leading praise and worship on the phone over, over, over the phone with my parent with my mother my siblings everyone was just on the phone my father was singing and then there was this song and my father was singing i had to tell him um and she repeated over and over again what a friend we have in jesus at that point i just told myself jesus you're my friend I need you. I need you more than I ever needed you, man. I need you. And I told, I requested that song. My father sang that song over and over and over again. And I kept telling God, I kept telling him, you're my friend. This is painful. This is painful. So, you know, there are songs that are so sweet to the soul that there are some there are some stages you pass in your life and then you say please play me this song because it suits the soul it suits me it can it calms the nerves down and that was the song my father was singing what a friend we have in jesus so um all our fears all our sins and guilt he bears so i was saying i was saying what a friend we have in jesus what a friend i have in jesus that he's carrying the pain he's just in this pain for me so he sang it over and over again and i felt blessed and he just said a word of prayer over me he kept praying my mom kept praying favor was there everyone it was it wasn't a journey it wasn't a journey and now bethany era and the whole sleepless night the whole um changes because no matter how you try to look at it every child that comes in if to a family comes with changes and you have to adapt to the changes and then you have to see the change as a positive thing i have never never have i have ever ever looked at my child and then i begin to complain no this is a blessing and it's a blessing that so many persons are actually looking out for so i don't know how people do it i don't know how people well i pray that god gives them the grace um you know you come to a stage in your life you know better and uh, thank god thanks to the word of god you know um each time i look at this child i say i'm blessed in fact my husband keeps pouring um, um, words over him, prayers over him, and each time I look at him, and then probably I'm breastfeeding him, I'm feeding him. I'm, I'm already saying a word of prayer. You are blessed, and these are the little little things that we learned from my dad. In fact, remember sometimes we were sleeping, my dad is already placing his hand over his head. He will he will come, and then he will he will just um declare some words and say you are blessed, and this you move on to the next person. So you know as um, parents that we are now there are traits that our parents exhibited when we are growing up that we need to pick on we need to carry on um those traits we don't need to dump them and one of the traits is the fact that you pray over your child my father will always said you pray over your speak the words and he my father's adage is he said whatever you call your dog that's what your dog will be so now bring it to your child whatever you call your child that's what your child will be so if you call your child bastard if you call your child stupid if you call all manner of name that's what the child will be so be very careful my, my father would say be very careful of 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 the words you say over your children be very very careful over the words you say over your children and the word of god says offenses will come there are times you just look at your child and you'll be like ah what did you just do right now well you have to hold it back and then speak positive words to them yeah so i think i'm talking too much already i don't know if i'm talking too much but anyway i just, I just felt like just coming out and then um because my, my father's page is about family faith and lifestyle yeah so um a big shout out to my dad mm -hmm. i'm gonna post this for him on his channel so a big shout out to my dad for being awesome for being awesomely amazing yes thank you so much daddy you know i appreciate i sincerely appreciate and to everyone who is yet to subscribe to this youtube channel i don't know what you're waiting for but from time to time you'll be seeing my face favors face wonderful face joshua's face caleb's face best face here mm -hmm. so don't forget to subscribe after subscribe don't forget to hit the bell button to get, to get notifications for whenever i post new content that's it is that is like he's crying
Let me run. <laughs> they will tell you sleep when the baby is sleeping. I've been, if you see my eyes, I've been sleeping since she has been sleeping. Yeah, but it's the joys of motherhood. Thank you so much for being awesome, all my father subscribers. We love and celebrate you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. I love you and I celebrate you.